Hello everybody, this is Sart with Mythic MTG Tech number 356 talking about Announcement Day last week and some of the crazy stuff that came out of it. We've got pirates, dinos, and unsaid merfolks versus goblins, transformers. Let's jump right in. The exciting one was clearly dinos and pirates. Like, who doesn't want to play Magic the Gathering with pirates? They're going to be awesome. And dinosaurs. Am I the only one thinking that this looks a little bit like another game? Like, maybe the dev staffs clearly did these independently, but come on. I mean, dinos and pirates? Awesome. Love the artwork here. Would be nice to see a little bit of diversity in themes, though, between the two biggest card games out there. I love the artwork, though, for Medusa. I mean, Veraska there. Looks amazing. I look forward to seeing swords, too. That is a sword in her arm. I want a pirate sword that I can use for my pirate-themed deck so that I can go steal all of the cards from other people. This is going to be awesome. Dual deck, merfolks versus goblins. This could be incredible. The best modern cool tribal deck out there versus the best legacy cool tribal deck out there. What's going to be in each of these decks? Who knows? There's a lot of awesome things, but there is one card. Just one. If they put it in, I will buy four to eight copies of this deck. It's an uncommon even. Ether Vile. Incredible card that sadly needs a giant reprint like yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Please put Ether Vile in. I don't care what else you put in there. I mean, okay, I would love to see some other awesome cards, but just Ether Vile. Uncommon. Needs a reprint. So badly. Unsets. People are talking like this is incredible. I worked in a store, a wizard store, when the unsets came out. The unsets, super cool flavor. I love them. But to be honest, they didn't sell at all. Like, really light sellers. People talk about loving the cards. Do you know what they loved? The full art lands. People would buy boxes just to get the full art lands and toss everything else because the boxes were super cheap. Guess what? Everybody's got a full art land now. Nobody cares about full art lands. For the unset to do well, it's going to have to be incredible. It's going to have to be super entertaining. It's going to have to have something awesome in it. Maybe foil full art lands? No, I don't know what. Like, I'm not sure how they're actually going to sell this set. It was the full art lands that originally sold them. Yes, super cool, fun, insider game, but most people have never cared about these in the past. From the vault, Transformers! What could possibly be in this set? Please leave in the comments your guess for the cards that are going to be in this set. My guess is everybody gets a Foil Delver. You get a Foil Delver. You get a Foil Delver. You get a Foil Delver. If you look at GP Vegas, it's a pretty good card right now. And an awesome card that who knows what else could possibly be in this set. Maybe we'll see some Kamigawa cards, maybe some cards that level up, maybe that's part of transforming. Guess the 15 cards here. I would love to hear your thoughts on it. Outside of Delver, I have no idea what's going to be in this set, hopefully Optimus Prime. What topic would you like to see next? I'm in the middle of shooting five videos right now, and I'm looking for topics for next week. I want to keep this ball rolling and get a lot of videos out to you. I am so excited after GP Vegas. Look forward to doing a lot of content over the next 30 days. Thank you to everybody who's over there supporting the channel on Patreon. I greatly appreciate it. If you enjoy what I do, please become a patron of the channel. I've got a new patron video coming out two weeks from now. And until next time, choose the cards wisely. Yes, very wisely. Be careful. Like, don't choose bad cards. Bad cards would be bad. Not good at all.